Okay. Let's see about doing this. Oh, you know what? We're gonna need the. We're gonna need the board. I think. At least for the the wild. How about you? Don't fall. That'd be great. Oh god, the glitter on this thing. Oh no. Oh no. <sighs> it's always scary going under the dark depths of my disc. Between the dust bunnies. Like where things just go and are never seen again. For trillions and trillions of years. Uh, all right, there's just gonna be glitter on it. I give up. I don't think it's gonna blind anybody, but hopefully not. All right, you guys. It's a crafty stream once again. Hmm. Yeah, that's probably a good size. Alright, how is everybody? Bonus crafty stream. Coming in. Sorry, I'm trying to get all the fuzz off of here. Pardon the scritchies. Right, I don't think my address really is showing, so. Okay. Actually, could I? I cut this down just a little because this is a little big for my purposes here. There's another Lord of the Rings thing? Really? I feel like that's one franchise they're gonna. Uh, it's not it's not reviewing well. Like, like how many how many times can you beat the same franchise before Well they're they're doing they're doing something from before the main books. Like oh they're God. reaching the end of their, their baseline content. And it's not really well. So kinda like the Star Wars thing? Where they well, went okay. backwards? Lord of the Rings is based off a series of books. Yeah. They did the main series, Lord of the Rings. Yeah. They did The Hobbit, and they stretched that the fuck out. Yeah. Now they're doing what was basically the writing guide for it. What? Because Tolkien made a, a, a guide to, like, their prehistory and everything. Like, their era of the gods and all this other shit. Um. Yeah, it, it's not what I would call a great read, and I don't know what the fuck they could possibly bother doing for the show. It just seems like we're out of ideas, uh, this. Well, you see, Lord of the Rings is here to make us money, except... Not well, if you kill the franchise. <laughs> I mean, it can only so take yeah, so much. Kind of like Star Wars. They're basically whoring out for cash. Mm, right. Gotcha. I saw the advertisement on the sticky thing here. Alright. So... We are going to be working on some more... I'm surprised this blade is that sharp. We're going to be working on some more... Um, Christmas ornaments here. But do you see? If your needle fills in your Christmas ornament, what the fuck does that have to do with a piece of cardboard? Well, friends. My ass is broke. So... Like, like, really super broke. So, um, didn't have the funds to order a cookie cutter to make my life easier. Do I have to have a cookie cutter? No. I don't. I could probably wing it. Butterfly wings. I could probably wing it. Um, but, you know. 
sometimes it's just less of a headache <laughs> and faster if uh, if we had a cookie cutter, but we don't. So this is what we're gonna do. So um, the next gift that we're working on is gonna be for the mother-in-law. She's got a thing about butterflies. Um, at least she did. I don't know if she still does, but that's what we're gonna go with. Um, excuse me. So just had dinner. It's probably gonna be burping. Um, she's not gonna be here for Christmas. We don't believe. Um, so I kind of have to get this fucking done. So um, and hope that she tells us that she's leaving town before she leaves town don't know if that's gonna happen but so I'm trying to make a template <laughs> to make this a little bit easier and a little bit faster will it work don't know so it looks like the base um, of our butterfly picture that we're using for our inspiration it's not gonna be a um, hundred percent the same as the photo but we're, we're gonna try Probably not going to be that close because we can't get super detailed with this. I mean, we probably could if I had the time, but I don't have that much time. So um, we're going to try to ballpark this. This is kind of like a triangle, kind of. Um, so let's see here. Do I want this or do I want a pencil? Uh, do I have a pencil? <laughs> Would be the next question. What is this? An F. Um, I mean, F would work. It's not that it wouldn't, it's just. I like this pencil sharpener, but it doesn't always do the greatest job. Okay. So we'll do a quick one in pencil. And we'll go back over it in pen. Um, right, so it's gonna be the most lopsided butterfly ever. Cause it's me. So maybe so what is that? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen. We also don't want this too big. Cause it is a Christmas ornament. Actually that might be too big. Fifteen. Christmas ornament. What are you doing? You're you're getting too big. Um So, I mean, it, it could be that big. I don't know where she's gonna hang it. You know what? Fuck it. We'll, we'll go with it. Um, hey, Zorts. Bottom comes like way in. So, if the Wings family've got it 15, um, let's see. One. Two, three, over at fifteen. One, two, three, four, five. One, two, three, four, five. Six, six, seven, seven. It really only gives us like one. Alright, so that's seven. Just coming down here. How was your rest of your stream? Ended up bailing out early because I had to go take care of some stuff. So seven. Actually, that body kind of. Checks out there. 
kind of feel like maybe one, two, three. It's kind of like. Here and then we have one, two. Probably can't see half of what I'm doing because I'm in pencil. Three. I can kind of see it. We're gonna go back over it in pen in a minute. Um. So we have a little. They're kind of. If we have it come like this, and then it will come like this. All right, so is my pen gonna work? Don't fail me now, Dollar Tree pen. Don't fail me now, Mr. Mingo. Alright. Um. So how's the crafting going? Alright, alright. We got the we got my mom's gift done. I had to add a second hanger to him though, because he got a little he got a little top heavy. <laughs> He's a little head heavy. <laughs> But you know, hanging up, he he he's all right. But he's okay. Has little little butt feathers. So my mom's gift is done. Now I gotta work on the mother-in-laws, and hopefully, I'll be done it in relatively short order. We will see. Alright, so this is a rough template. Super rough template. Why does this seem like so much bigger? One, two, three, four, five, six, six, seven. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. So we're just making a little. <sighs> it's really uneven. Um, really cardboard guy here. I mean, eh, not everything's even in nature, but so if this is gonna come down here. And then we're gonna come in just a little bit. So I can have a sort of point of reference. Um, it's gone, not gonna look the same exact. as our reference photo. We're just kinda kinda going with it. Just to kinda give us a rough idea of placement. Hopefully. I mean, we still have to cut this out, so. But, I mean, things are going. Things are going. Symmetry, not my best. Alright. Um, yeah, like, this is just... And this one's just not 
Wow, that's that's badly not the same shape. Um Maybe we do need to That might be a little bit better. Alright, this is gonna be a hot mess. Ready for it? Okay, so we're probably gonna be doing more ripping than cutting with this thing. Because it is cardboard. And I'm not too sure. Oh yeah, we're only like going through the first. I have another blade that we can probably switch. And I have scissors. This cardboard's a little bit of a thick guy here. Oh, okay. It's working. We just have to be careful. and patient. Ripping our shape to shit. And this is just kind of to make my life easier in the long run for this because I've not done a butterfly before. And you know, they're not, they're not that difficult really, but they are a bit of symmetry. Like, sometimes you'll see them a little unsymmetrical, but for the most part, and since I didn't have cookie cutter. We're gonna kind of make our own to at least get us started. Content. I'm destroying a piece of cardboard. <laughs> Man, I'll tell you, YouTube algorithm had to have picked up the last um, last Monday's um, not yesterday, but last week's Monday. Um, art stream where we were I think on the second session working on that uh, rooster for my mom because I don't know what the hell happened but that thing was like at 30 views all of a sudden on the YouTube channel and I was like what it's like we're not even done yet this is weird really strange 
I'm like, all right. I mean, cool, but weird for me. And uh, so I posted Sundays, this past Sunday's um, VOD over there. And I'm like, all right, so let's see what this one's going to do because we got a bit more work done on it. Not a single view. I'm like, really? All right then. YouTube, I don't understand your algorithm in the slightest. Apparently. Because I'm pretty sure I used all the same tags. I don't know. I, I fucking give up. I did get to play a little bit of WoW last night. Not much. I think I just sat there. Um, I was planning on just fishing last night whenever I did finally get in because it's been it's it's been a lot lately so I was like I don't want to really do a whole lot. I just kind of want to sit here and vegetate. And, you know, maybe work on trying to make some money. Maybe I can buy a token and give me enough, a little more time to maybe get something done. Um, after I'm done getting holiday gifts sorted. Because those are on the forefront right now. Those are a higher priority. And, uh, then there was an issue... Or a quest in question for bloodthirsty so then I had to go and do some testing instead and I was like oh, I really don't feel like this um so I did a little bit of testing so I lost some time fishing last night because when I logged in to do the testing I was trying to set my UI up because I hadn't been in since uh since the uh, new UI came in and uh, that was giving me all kinds of problems because it kept wiping out my, my UI setup every time I switched characters even though I was hitting save so that was kind of pushing me off a bit Oh yeah, okay. Well, yeah, that one wing is a bit off, isn't it? I mean, it's not terribly so. It's not. I mean, the whole thing's a little janky, but that's alright. We'll make it work. It'd probably be jankier if I was doing it without it, to be perfectly honest. It'd probably be a lot worse freehand. So, bye bye piece of cardboard. You've served us well. We don't need you anymore. Alright. Now, get rid of this. Our lights came for our replacement Christmas tree today. Uh, the box was a lot smaller than I was expecting it to be. Um, like, when I got up, there was this little tiny box on the, uh, stove, and I was like, what's this? And Russ was like, it's lights! And I'm like, in that small of a box? There was, like, supposed to be 200 lights! He goes, yeah, but we ordered fairy lights! And I was like, oh. And he pulled them out of the box. And, uh, I'm like, it was a little unsure of our purchase at first to be perfectly honest I was like oh, all right and uh, then we plugged them in and god damn that fuckers are bright um like super bright like we don't need any lights on in that room right now and still be able to see the floor it, like I walk past it I'm like I want my sunglasses um, we got these pink magenta e lights to um, go on our replacement tree. We, we got the white one so that I could do my flamingo themed tree. So we got the P 
pink lights because you know pink flamingos okay, I'm still kind of mystified that we like did a divot into the pad there like what is happening I'm just scraping off some extra layers of fluff here just to kind of clean this guy up a little bit he's a little fluffy he's a little fuzzy let me get that cleaned up Probably good enough. Alright, so I'll stick that fuzz to the side. Alright, so am I gonna do a felt base on this? Probably not. I, I thought about it. And I don't think I have a color. I mean, I think it's going to be more trouble than it's worth if we do. And the colors aren't going to be the same exact, and I just realized I have none of the colors with me, so I need to go get some. Hold on. This is kind of a limited color palette, right? So, those should do. I'm thinking. I'm thinking that should do. You know what? I should probably pull this, pull this up and blow it up so I can see what the hell I'm doing. Yeah, it's kind of a limited color palette. I think those colors will will be fine. There's a little tiny blip of like bright yellow on the tips of the antennas and his head's kind of like a reddishy brownish orange and the body's kind of green. It almost feels more dragonfly-y but you know I think I think this will be a decent enough start. Now there's a lot of veining going on in here almost wonder if it would be better to try to paint that if I can pull it off because it's not exactly felt so don't know if I can make that happen. Sorry, there was something on me. I had to deal with it. But, uh, we'll see. It's a lot of little black detail. And, I mean, we could needle felt it in. Probably. But for something so small, I'd almost rather try to um, try to uh, it depends on how fuzzy this ends up being. If it's too fuzzy, then um, I don't think trying to paint it is going to work. Alright, so let me grab this guy. Now, this guy was the thing that we were using 
um, when we were making the snowman just to make it pull up off the mat a little bit easier. This will probably help us stay a little bit cleaner. It's just an odd piece of uh, white felt. I think it'll be all right. We'll see. So with a stencil, we've, we've basically made a stencil. Um, so like with a cookie cutter or whatever, you're just gonna like fill your fluff in and then you're gonna like come up to the edges and just kind of like lightly, lightly because you don't really have anything to work with here. Just kind of getting your shape made, right? So I don't want to felt this too like, I don't want to put this in the felt. I don't want to attach it to it. If I did, I could go, like, super deeper. But right now, I just kind of want to get our base idea in here. And I know... No, I'm not on camera. I know. I felt it felt a little low. Um, I know where we're we're tapping at now is gonna have orange in it, but we'll we'll cross that bridge when we get there. Right now, I just kind of want to get our base shape kind of hoofed in here. Just to get our idea going here, I'm barely tapping the pad. Barely. I'm just kind of trying to fluff. Not really fluff, but uh, just kind of lightly smoosh this down on itself. Because, like I said, we don't want to A, attach it to the mat, and B, I don't really want to attach it to our piece of felt here. Now, you might lose the shape a little bit starting out, and that's okay. Because, you know, we're working on it. But you do want to flip it over to uh, work on the other side of it. So you can see this side's a little bit flatter. Just coming up along my edge here. And you know, you might have to add a few layers of this. Like, this might not be the only bit of blue that ends up on here. Probably won't be. Yeah, I'm just kind of tacking down my edges and then carefully, once again, just kind of fussing with this side. I don't want to do like a full flatten run on one side yet because then I think we're gonna end up attaching to the felt more than I necessarily want to be oh my neck just scratched 
tell you, our weather today is in a mood. I saw James Spam went live a little while ago, guys. If you are in the tornado watch area this evening, please keep an eye on your weather. I didn't have the chance to go and check to see what he was talking about, but he's one of the gurus. The severe weather, respect to the polygon stuff, so be weather aware. But, um, man, I can feel a migraine trying to kick off right now. I had a migraine Friday, fought through it Saturday as best as I could because I was on the show and then Sunday still had it kick in fought through to get the live stream done Monday wasn't too bad and now it's kicking up again because our temperature today was 73 degrees this afternoon when I woke up around 2 It is currently 39 degrees with a feels like temperature of 30 and it's supposed to go down to 26 tonight. Like what in the ever loving fuck is going on? Now we're not supposed to get any storms in our neck of the woods. Fortunately it's all more um, the Gulf Coast states and stuff. Or at least that's where it seems to have been most of the day. But, um, yeah, just be careful tonight. Make sure you have your weather radios and all that. And apparently one of the other streamers that I've been watching recently who does a lot of the crafty things or tries to do a lot of the crafty things when uh, when her chat lets her. Um, she won a, or she tied for, um, for a creative streamer of the year for a game heard, game her award. So 9.5, so yay. Congratulations. What do you mean there's nothing to show here? What? What just happened? Why did my photo just like... My photo just like timed out and vanished. I don't know why. So, um, this reference photo... Um, I pulled from Unsplash. Great, great resource. Um, now, they are sort of partnered with iStock, I think. Or there's links to iStock from their main page. So um, just make sure if you're using them for a, uh, if you're looking for a copy free, copyright free photo that um, you're paying attention that you're using an unsplash image and not a, uh, I stock one a little you know you have to pay for the eye stock one but still um and then you could also try to do a reverse um google search just to make sure if you're want to be super super sure all right this needs a bit more substance here i think we have a bit more fluff. I'm going to have to do so much, uh, so much fluffing to uh, uh, top off all of our, all of our bags of fluff by the time we're done with all of the Christmas gifts. Insanity is what this is. Absolute insanity. Alright, so barely touching 
I know my hand's in the way, but oh, that's my hair. Get out of there. You don't need to be in there. My hair is everywhere. Just had to have the husband cut it again. Seems like every time we cut it, it's getting shorter and shorter. No, 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 like, like every time we cut it, my hair's shorter and shorter because it's hurting my neck more and more. Oh, okay. Yeah. Well, hey, like I said, if I have to, I'll start trimming it weekly. I don't think we have to quite go that far yet, but... It also doesn't help when my neck is pissed because of the quick weather temperature changes. That's also not helpful at all. So how are things and stuffs? Kind of surprised none of the cats knocked the ornaments off the tree yet. Because when I had to um, redecorate the tree after we got the lights on the new one. Um, I was half expecting to hear ornaments flying across the floor in the other room where the tree is, because that seems to be the cat's favorite pastime, even though we gave them a few of their own. And we had to try to keep the wire for the fairy lights to uh, make it look like it wasn't a toy because it's a clear cord on it. Oh my goodness, Momo! That was a Momo getting up and shaking. It was time to refluff the puppy. Momo, do you have to potty? Okay. Momo has to potty. Potty, puppy potty emergency. Puppy potty emergency. He's been very happy the past couple of days. Hope you enjoyed that, uh, that husband sounding like a weirdo because he loves his dogs, Momo. Yeah, it's okay. Zuzu doesn't love me anymore. That's fine. I'm like the last choice on the totem pole in this house. Only just barely above the cats. I still think it's because your mother needs to be cuddled more than you and she gives more scratches. I think it's because they're feeding him all day that we don't know about it. Like the other night, um, Russell was uh, hanging out in here for a little bit. He was trying to sleep out here uh, in our room. Um, the mattress isn't always cooperative and sometimes he ends up hurting more than laying on the mattress in the other room with the cat. And uh, so while he was here, uh, Zuzu wandered in from the other room, from my parents' room, realized Russell was in bed, hopped up, hopped over me, got to him and it was like, oh my god, I haven't seen you in like four years. I am so excited. It's not true. But he's like, oh my god, he lost his little puppy mind. Gave Russell all of the cuddles and kisses and tail wags and just everything. And Russell's like, well, what about mom? I kid you not. He looked at me, thought about it for a second, wagged his tail twice, hopped over me and left. I'm like, gee, thanks. Thanks, dog. Thanks so much. All of the cuddles, all of the scratches I would give you. We shared blankets together. We've shared food together. And this is the things I get. You look at me and walk away. And the other night, or I guess really morning. It was like, oh, what time was it? I swear the other night it was like four or 5 a.m. 
Zuzu came in, hopped up on the bed, was staring at Russell's side of the bed looking really confused. Looked at me. He got under the blankets behind my legs. He was there for like 30 seconds, got back out. Then he wanted to lay in front of me. I'm like, okay. So I lifted the blanket and he got in there. He was there for 15 seconds, got out, and he's like, nope, and he left. And I'm like, really? You're, you're going to leave because Russell's not here. Well. Well. Don't forget his goodie. I know, because Zuzu just showed up. Does Zuzu have to pee? Sometimes Zuzu only shows up for the... For the goodie. Because he's a brat like that. Alright, so I mean, he's kind of a butterfly -y shape. Kind of. I'm not sure how many layers I'm going to end up doing on the blue here. And this is kind of why I wanted it to be a little bit symmetrical because we have to kind of follow our template here. That's the sound of the needle scraping the cardboard, sorry. That's the sound of the needle going into the cardboard. I don't want to needle felt the cardboard. I'm not putting wire in this one either. No oh, thanks. I had enough I have enough fun with the wire at the moment in in Russell's present. So I haven't had the chance to yet, but I still need to put the eyes on his hermit crab, right? So um, I haven't had the chance to do much of anything with it. I kind of took last night off from doing anything since we had gotten the um, my mom's gift done. And um, I was just kind of spending time being tired <laughs> and uh, this afternoon I was like, yeah, I really need to get some stuff done. And then I was like, you know, I, I kind of just want to try to get some more fishing done in, in WoW, see if I can make some more gold. Because I was very discouraged when I saw how much token prices were last night. As I was like, oh, I don't know if I can fish enough in a short amount of time to make that kind of cash. Because it had jumped exponentially. And um, somebody in the Wild Challenges server had said, oh, it's down to 190. And I'm like, there's no way it went down to 190 from 233 last night. I find that hard to believe. Um, I still don't have that much cash, but, um, I was gonna double check it before I started stream tonight, and the world servers went down. So I was like, oh, okay, I don't know if they're back up yet, doesn't matter, because we're doing this now, but, um, I was like, that's an awfully large jump for, considering the last time I checked was at, like, 3.34 this morning, so I'm like, hmm awfully quick drop but so I'm not gonna be too worried about this bottom edge in here because that's gonna be orange um, my main concern is just kind of getting this guy figured out and as I get I don't know if I'm gonna leave the white felt under it I might just so that our colors are clean Sorry, bent needle. So. Still using that same bent needle. But, um, yeah, I was gonna work on this earlier today, and I was like, well, I don't know if we're gonna stream tonight. Depends on what the husband and the friend end up doing. 
and how late they go and how I'm feeling. I was kind of on the fence about doing this tonight because my neck was starting to kick off a headache, but I was like, I've got to get this at least started. So, don't know how far we're going to go tonight, but I want to at least start kind of situation. good thing about having a template here is that we can kind of try to keep our shape here. Pretty sure we've gone into the felt quite a ways more than I wanted to be. But we'll see. Now this is just the yarn. I haven't used any roving hair yet. So we'll see if that comes back to bite me. I'm not sure if I had any roving that was this color. Number one, I might have. We'll see how this behaves. If it has trouble keeping its shape here, then I might go back over this and add some roving. But this is just the acrylic yarn right now. And this is Joanne's Big Twist value line. And it is Cornflower Blue. No, don't tap the cardboard. In the cardboard is not going to help us. And there, my friend. So, I mean, we could hit this with roving. If you have roving, by all means, go ahead and use that. This is what I've got. I was trying to use up some of the mini bags of roving I have just to, you know, get them, get them used. So, I mean, we still could add some of that onto here and we might still have to see how this layer goes. This is really what I'm using as our base color. This figured out. Right, so, but yeah, I mean, we kind of went into the felt because he's attached to it. You can kind of see all the little spikies. It's a lot darker on camera than it is for me. So it kind of reminds you of like one of those like nose strips. He's not letting go, so we're gonna have to gently remove him. Kind of like how we were removing from the pad down here when we were working on the wings and stuff for the chicken. Very carefully. Okay. I mean, you can still see like some of the spikes um, poking out there. It's probably a decent angle to show. So, I mean, that's it's kind of kind of coming together. Don't have too much blue um, missing. Still might add some of the 
blue rover. So I'm looking to see. what my options are. I think I hung, hang on, let me double check. So I had gone through the big bag of all the little roving guys. and was trying to kind of separate it out into color families so I could sort of figure out what I've got. Yeah, that seems kind of gray. And that's kind of more like periwinkle, got the purple to it. And that's kind of greenish. Kind of, these two feel like they're the same. That still has a bit of a green tone to it. I just don't feel like I have I mean yeah, still still pretty periwinkle-y. I think this might be our better option here. Like these shades aren't bad. It's just not what I'm looking for necessarily. So let me just stick that over there. Alright. So. Don't know um, if we're going to go another layer of blue on here. We're kind of spongy, um, and that's not a bad thing. Shows that um, tells us we're we're felting together. We're starting to take shape and everything. So that's a good thing. don't know um, if I want to do another blue layer. That I haven't decided yet because this is going to kind of show through on either side, right? So. Just kind of, you know, retapping on this side. It takes a little bit, you know, back and forth, back and forth on this stuff, especially if you're gonna um, have a uh, 3D critter. little figurine and stuff, you know, well, especially with like a flatter 3D cr critter. I mean, it's sort of going to be 3D, it's sort of going to be two-dimensional on this guy. It is going to be a tree ornament that we're going to be able to pick up and hang. question is, do I want to do another layer of blue? And I haven't decided yet. So in theory, when I was looking at the 
the photo and trying to get an idea in my head of how to approach this one. In theory, it shouldn't be... as involved as as the rooster I mean it's still going to be a little bit involved but I guess that really depends on how much time we are or how detailed we're going to get how much time we have to work on it because we did what four sessions on the um, rooster so this is session one on this and my photo keeps vanishing and I don't know why that's strange. Like on my desktop, not not the uh, one in the corner there. Alright, so he's tightening up a bit. Um, I do think... I mean, we can always haircut him down just a little bit if we need to. It's a little too fuzzy. I do think we need to go... Um, probably a little bit thicker because some spots of this feel a little bit thin still but you know what hold on hold on hold that thought hold that thought I want to come in with my orange if I can make up my mind what color I want to grab so this is paint box um, simply chunky and this is blood orange. This is the same as this color. Built it up. So I want to take a bit of this, right? And make sure that we're in our template here. This is going to be our Wait, are we in the template? We're kind of in the template. So. Actually, I need to turn this so I can see what the fuck I'm doing. That would probably be a really great idea. So we're going to sit sideways here for just a minute so I can see. The edge of my template here. I am fortunately taking that a little deep into the um, the felt there. So if you hear any weird like faint yelling, it's my dad yawning. He the tone and loudness that he yawns at always makes me think that there's something wrong. But it's just him yawning. Uh, yawning. Like, I'm like, what's wrong? And he's like, nothing's wrong. I was like, what was the noise? He's like, there was no noise. He's like, I yawned. He's like, holy shit. That was a yawn? My goodness, I can hear you like three rooms away. So the head on this guy. In the photo. Kind of is this like... Uh, 
orangey in color. And we're probably gonna have like a little bit of color weirdness where it's gonna um, pop through the blue here. Right, so be prepared for that. And I'm just barely hitting that felt underneath, or at least I think I'm just barely hitting the felt. Here, let me, I might as well hit the rest of this while we're, while we're at it. So our shape's going to be a little off every time because the wings are a little off and like I'm constantly flipping over, although I guess we could flip the um, the cardboard and then, you know, it would be a little bit closer. We could do that. <laughs> that would probably make more sense, right? But um, just maybe. Maybe we should be doing that as we flip everything. Just want to try to make sure that we're good and felted. And I probably will be adding another layer of blue onto here. More than likely. Is Num Num's outside? I think that was Cal. I can't tell because they both have the same meow pitch. And it sounded like it was right no, here. Was Is it? Yeah, let me go swap them out. Okay. But you know what? I'm gonna go uh I'm gonna go pay my mind and visit and stay there for a few minutes. Okay. So I'm trying to lay out here from there. Oh, okay. You got the fire stick to work? Yeah, yeah. Okay. You turned it off, so I wasn't sure. Okay. His aunt's letting him use a couple of the streaming services she's signed up for. Because we only have cable on one of the TVs. Them cable boxes are expensive to rent. Yes, yeah, so that's going to be a little bit RNG on that side, and that's okay. That's a okay. Now we will tuck you into here, right? And we'll grab a bit more of our fluff. And we'd already had the one fire stick from when we were trying to do Hulu instead of cable, and my dad couldn't, um, he couldn't handle that, so. It was just too technologically challenging for him to be able to handle how to use the Fire Stick, because the Fire Stick remote didn't have numbers on it, and he couldn't handle using just the little circle to navigate and somehow ended up buying a movie and he didn't even know how he got into the movie screen to begin with and to be perfectly honest we don't know how he got into the movie screen because we never showed him how to do that I don't know. It was like Russell and I were fine with it, but it was turning into a whole ass um, shit show. And then he got mad and he's like, I can't handle this. And so then 
they ended up having to go back to cable, but it was a much more scaled down version than what we had originally because they just kept jacking the price and jacking the price and jacking the price. I don't even know when the last time I, I actually watched TV was. No idea. Like I've watched YouTube and stuff, but that's mostly just vloggers and uh, some crafty streams. Well, I guess technically they're considered vloggers too. And, uh, like, history documentaries. <laughs> really all I've been doing lately. Although I've certainly got more than enough to keep me busy, so I really don't need to watch TV. I don't really have the time to watch TV. But the parents, on the other hand, if they didn't have TV, I don't think they would still be living in the same location. To be perfectly honest, because that's been getting a little bit intense lately with the two of them. I've just been kind of head down, doing what I can, down with whatever stupid shit he calls me about in the middle of the night. Multiple times a night. Like, my dad weighs like 360 or something. I'm not a strong person. And he calls me in there and he's like, I need, I need to sleep in my chair. I can't sleep in the bed. And I'm like, okay. Well, no, the one night he's like, I, I, I need to, to get in the bed to go to sleep. I'm like, all right, then, then go. And <laughs> he's like, well, I need you to stand here. And I'm like, why? He's like, in case I fall. I'm like, you understand that I can't catch you, right? I am not a strong person with as fucked up as my neck and back are. Between the scoliosis and the previous shit I've done. And injuries and whatnot. I was like, I can't catch you. I said, if I try to catch you, we're both going to be on the floor. So this has become a spectator sport at this point. It's, it really has. And, um, and he just kind of looked at me. And I'm like, what? I'm telling you the truth. This is what's going to happen. Like, I cannot catch you. I can barely lift a 40 pound bag of, ca of uh, cat food or a 40 pound container of cat litter. Like, I can pick up a case of water, but it's uh, not pleasant. And that's, that's a case of water, not a human being. So, you know, I'm just preparing you. <laughs> yeah, I don't know what the fuck you're expecting. And um, apparently that answer was kind of strange to him. I'm like, what? Like, what do you want from me? <laughs> I'm just telling you the truth here. Wait, what side were we on now? I think we're on this side. Yes? No. Yes. 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 So we've got our our head a little 
thick hair. He's a little bit of a thick boy. Like I can see like the the ridgy line seam around his head here. I wanna try to try to manipulate hair together. I'm gonna take a little extra lesson. Let's see what we can do though. I'm like, and then he's like leaning on to stuff that's not that stable. I'm like, please don't do that. I'm like, you feel like you're gonna fall because you're leaning on stacks of plastic storage bins that aren't sturdy. And you're leaning on a table that's already bowing in the middle because of how much crap is on it. I was like, you have a walker. It's stable. It's solid. You should use your walker. Then you won't feel like you're gonna fall because it's got four stable legs on the ground. Or you need to get a footy cane. You know, the kind that have the four feet that stand by themselves. Something stable. Something sturdy. You, you need to use the tools that you have to keep you safe. Like we have these things for a reason, but he's being hard-headed about it. That's not bad. I should really get that finger out of there. We, we already injured that finger. <laughs> That poor finger. We didn't injure it today, but you know, the other night. When we were uh, doing this. Alright. So. Alright, so we're going to keep going with the template here. A little bit further. So it's gonna be a little extra fuzzy and I'm thinking we just kind of shear the extra fuzzy off where need be. So Russell was in there tonight because I was like, well can we rearrange the room? Because he really can't use his walker to get to the bed with how it's situated in there right now. They've got so much shit. Uh, they, they really do. And uh, I'm like, can can we can we do something here? Can, can we make this easier? So the body is a little bit um, green on this guy. So I'm just gonna see about getting some green here. So he was in there kind of measuring tonight. He's like, mm. he's like, not really. He's like, the idea that we had, not everything's gonna fit. And I was like, okay, well, can we, like, condense down some stuff that's sitting on that table and, you know, get rid of the table? He's like, yeah, you have that battle with your dad, I'm not. And I was like, okay. He's like, you wouldn't even let me go through it the one day just to see what the hell was there. I'm like, all right. Like, they keep sending him boxes and boxes and boxes of medical supplies. I guess for his legs? I don't even know where the fuck they're coming from. And, like, once a week right now, he's got nurses coming to check the wounds on his legs. They just kind of open up because his legs are so swollen. And I don't know if that's where these supplies are coming from, that it's for from for them to use. I, I don't I don't really know. But it seems like they just keep sending the stuff. And they have a bunch of it already. Like And then my mom ordered a bunch of shit for Christmas 
gifts and whatnot. And the cats like to play in the cardboard boxes. My mom's not steady on her feet either. And my dad's not. My dad's always afraid he's gonna fall. My mom's about to fall over if you look at her sideways. And they're, my mom's like putting these empty cardboard boxes all over the floor when you first walk in their room for the cats to play in. And I'm like, Mom, what are you doing? I'm like, fall hazard. You're gonna fall over these damn boxes because you can't hardly see and you're dropping them all over the floor. I'm like, why are these here? They're for the cats. I'm like, Mom, stop. <laughs> it's like they don't need this. Fall hazard, mother. You don't have to put it right in the walkway. You could set it on top of the bed temporarily. So I stacked them and I was gonna take them away and Russell's like, I'll let the cats have the box. I'm like, they can have the box out here. These two are gonna like trip and fall. They've got so much shit. I don't even know where all the shit comes from. My mom has almost like two walk-in closets worth of clothes. And like storage containers and a freestanding closet that she bought and I'm like, how do you have this many clothes? Like, I don't have anywhere near this many clothes. I have like a storage container and a half of clothes. Like, that's it. What is this madness? Oh, right. We were... Ah, we got a little carried away. Shit. Uh-oh. Uh-oh, friends. Okay. So, it didn't go through completely. It did pick up some of the... Some of the f uh, f fluff felt. There we go. To pick up some of the felt. That's okay though. Fuzz. Uh, I'm like trying to figure out what word I wanted there. I was like, I know the word I want, but none of this seems to fit what I'm thinking. Okay, so I'm just kind of. Adding a little bit of call of a kind of a collar, I guess you could say, around this. And we're gonna do the same thing on the other side too. Kind of hard to tell if I'm all that symmetrical from that side though. like a little heart shape inadvertently I have not planned it to be quite like that so we might be able to paint our our detail lines on here maybe if I get a fine enough brush here Perhaps. <laughs> oh, Russell made soup tonight. For um, him and my mom for dinner. And that is all I keep smelling right now. And it's kind of weird. Like, I know what the smell is. Uh -huh. This guy's a little big. You know, we could trim him down a little bit. That side's a little carried away. A little bit. And it's kind of weird to me. 
very strong. They, what was it? They made, he made corn chowder. Alright, so let's see about Mogan and this guy up. Now see, this side it didn't, um, through as much. What time is it? What time do I need to stop by? What time did you want to lay down? Oh, no rush. I wasn't even sure what time it was, to be perfectly honest. Uh, it's 9.45. Okay. crooked on the body here but I mean I guess if it was like a hundred percent symmetrical it would look a little too weird it would look a little factory done this is definitely definitely homemade right, how far down did this about there. I suppose is probably a start. Like and here's a little bit um fluffy still, we might still come back and add another bit of uh, blue to that, but I did want to start to get our middle worked on here. I have a feeling the other side's a little bit more streamlined. More than likely. It's kind of going off of where stuff is poking through. So, uh, Russell cut my hair last night, and now it's like all kinds of crazy all over the place. Like, I'd rather have the one side more visually pleasing than the other, but I kind of feel like we're probably going to have to do both since it's going to hang. You're going to end up seeing both sides of it. It's just going to be the way it is. Oh, goodness. Yeah, that's... Oh, that is way off. Way off. Okay. Holy cow. Okay. That is way off. Okay. I'm just giving this guy a little bit of a fuzz trim so that I can see what is happening. Is everything all right? You need to call me for a pair of scissors to cut something open. Uh, okay. Is 
the very creaky shears. All of these tiny little hairs going everywhere. Okay, no, fair enough. He actually needed help with that. What was it? Uh, it was the foil around his new uh, breather. Okay. Yeah, it was pretty tough. I'm hoping tomorrow we are going to be able to get into that shed. battle the, the wasps or the hornets, whatever the hell they are. Right, so I'm just kind of doing this because I want to see where we stand at the moment. All the while making a huge ass mess of fluff here on my desk. I mean, it's not me unless I'm making a mess though, right? When we paint, I make a mess. I'm either covered in paint that I had no idea was there, <laughs> spilling stuff, dropping a paintbrush. Or I guess in this, we're just getting fuzz. Everywhere. Alright, so... Yeah, I wanna try to bulk up our body a bit there. I mean, we actually didn't cut that much off. It sounded like it, but it was so tiny. I mean, that's all we really trimmed off of there. It wasn't that bad. It sounded worse than it ended up being. Okay. So is this the... Right, I think this might be... No? Oh, yeah, that's, that's more of how that should be. Alright. I'm gonna get a little bit more of our green. So I wanna get this guy a little bit thicker. don't really want him to go in too far. Alright, so... Alright, I'm just kind of looking at our photo here. Trying to figure out Or we need to go with this guy. Making the antennas might be a little difficult. We don't have that much real estate to uh, Attach them into necessarily. Got a whole lot showing through. But 
We will see. What happens with this? Like, it's just gonna be a little tchotchke. It's not gonna be all that big of a deal or that impressive. Not really, but I feel like if she doesn't get something, she might get upset, so. But then I'm in the thing of, well, she's gonna be with her sister, so if I don't make the sister something. Because, I mean, the sister did help us out, so. I suppose it would be rude not to. That's probably the only sister that's gonna necessarily get anything though, because I, I don't really know any of them. I don't really have time. But we don't really see the rest of his family anyhow. And the one aunt I refuse to. Um, associate with pretty much, so. Cats, what are you doing behind me? Let's not get into trouble, okay? Can we try? Maybe, please. I can just kind of. Where is. Okay, so. Okay. So that. Is kind of. That. Now, Russell kind of wanted me to bulk up the body, but I think this is as bulky of a body as I can get here. Cause I don't think he fully understood what I was saying. No, that's okay. Well, is this is this a good enough? I just need a suggestion. It's your project. Yeah, but it's your mom. All right, let's see here. So I still want to make this a little bit thicker with the blue because I mean it's not it's not bad but it's still a little thin. And that might help us uh, shape up the body a bit too.
I had actually been planning on painting this one. And we still can. Just it's gonna be a while before I get the chance to do that. So I'm thinking we finish up the body, it's going to need another probably layer of blue fluff on either side. And then we can start putting in the orange. kind of looking at where the orange is placed. Oh, and what was that? Is Fred outside? That definitely came from the porch. That or a wind chime fell. Kind of sounded like the food bowl, though. Fred is our possum. I see nothing out there. Hmm. It really sounded like something on the porch made a noise. I wonder if a wind chime gave up the ghost and fell. Alright, so that's not, that's not bad. So I think that may be all that we're going to do on the green, right? We'll get a bit more oil. Just kind of fluffing our blue stuff here. Try to work in over here. And, you know, this will just be a back and forth, really. Not really a back and forth, but a add till you're happy with it sort of scenario. Good thing I had that fire protector on there. Might have been a, a small issue. And my finger's fine from the other day. It like barely did anything. I got lucky. We're lucky it just barely skimmed the surface. Pea butt! Or was that cow? I thought that was one of the. <laughs> I thought that was one of the cats knocking something over. Sorry, cat. It's usually the cats creating all sorts of havoc. Nine times out of the ten. So we owe the cats an apology. Sorry, cats. We'll do one side and then we'll come back and 
we'll hit up the other. And then this will also kind of give us a chance to, um, you know, kind of fill in around our our green section. Try to even up that body there a little bit. Don't know if we'll be able to fully. fill that in because you know we are just pushing the fiber through the other side I, we'll see what it looks like when we flip it over man we had some scary winds last night like sitting here and they were saying that we were going to have some potentially dangerous damaging winds today and um in here at like 3, 3.30 this morning and all of a sudden the wind just kind of whooshed up out of nowhere. Like it had been pretty windy all day but it became even more noticeable and louder and I'm like damn what the hell and uh I went to check the weather just to make sure we didn't have any storms coming in and then it's like oh hey you have a weather advisory and I'm like huh like you're under a wind advisory and it was from like 3 in the morning till like sometime late today and I was like oh well they about nailed the start time on that didn't they <laughs> at least we're not getting any of the scary stuff today can handle just wind. I mean, the wind sounds scary at times with the way it's catching all of the trees up higher, but we can handle just wind. We, we don't like it when it starts spinning in a circle, though. That's, that's no bueno. to do the other side of this guy. I might pick him up off of the felt here. Just real quick though. I think he's gonna need another layer really. on this side. And again, you know, we'll we'll trim up all the extra fuzzies when we get there. You're kind of still sitting in your little your little template. Your little temple. Your little butterfly temple. that I would like to get you in here a little bit better. body because I could still see some of that green wanting to poke through the edge there and the other side was still a bit of a mess but we haven't I'm just kind of lightly scraping to find the edge of my 
stencil wherever I drop off. I'm like, okay, that's where we need to be. So it's a little bit thicker right here and tougher where we've got the the thicker part of the head and the uh, the body hanging out. I actually have fabric paint in a tube. I don't know where the black is though. I think I know, I have it in pink. Um, I had a, I've got the tube of pink sitting there. I thought I had a bottle of black somewhere. It might be in my paint drawer. I don't know. We could try to use that. That might not bleed so much. Because it's kind of like the three-dimensional fabric paint. to put the extra details on and such. <laughs> so we kind of didn't get any extra fluff and stuff up in here. And that corner was, in fact, a little thin. I mean, we're going to be doing the orange over it anyway, so we could just thicken it up with that. But we're here. We might as well. And see, we didn't need the... That's the expensive cookie cutter, but depending on the type of cookie cutters you get, they might not be that expensive. Probably a couple of dollars. I remember it used to be like 50 cents. They were not the greatest quality though, and you could like blink and they would unbend, but... Right now, anything that I don't already have is considered expensive. Dollar Tree is considered expensive right now at this very day. So we had the cardboard. You know, so I was like, well, I really just need to cut the shape out and I think we'll be alright. And the cardboard was just gonna go out in the recycling anyhow. So... Why not? Why not, really? We saved ourselves a few dollars. in that respect. Now, I have no idea what I'm doing for the sister-in-law. Sister-in-law. Aunt-in-law. Not sister-in-law. I do have a sister-in-law. Fuck, when was the last time I seen her? Um... I don't know. Uh, maybe a year? No, longer than that. Maybe like three or four years before we left New Jersey. No, it was longer than that. Because my niece just had her own baby, I think. 
That's terrifying to think about. Um, although when their older sibling, when their older half sibling was born, I was 10, so. Um, I don't know. It's I, I want to say it's made maybe since 10 years since I've seen her. But it could be a little bit longer now. She's back in New Jersey. Well, no, maybe not. Maybe it was a little bit less than that. Let's say like seven years because she was cocktail waitressing at one of the casinos. And I think I remember running into her a few times. So let's go with like seven. And I didn't get to see the kids that much because, you know, working at the casino. So I really only saw them and my work schedule was weird and they were always busy with stuff and her work schedule. And so I'd occasionally see them when they were over at the house. But, um, I remember I would see them when I worked at the craft store and she would bring them with her to get stuff for school projects or whatever, but I couldn't really talk because I was running register and I really wasn't supposed to ring her up. So I would uh, swap registers with my coworker real quick and then she could ring up on my employee discount so so technically she's kind of a media family kind of it's not like i really let any of my other family members use it anyway all right so we got that layer oh a little bit a little bit stiffer all right just kind of curious to see how that back edge was looking all right let's let's bulk out this other side here a bit probably not going to finish this today um, we might do another bonus art stream tomorrow maybe it depends on what's happening with our friend and the husband. They spent early afternoon trying to learn the gaming system for uh, Cyberpunk Red and finding out that um, it doesn't cover some things that that other like Shadowrun or even D&D &D itself um, covers. So they were making plans on certain rules that they were going to homebrew. I think I remembered hearing that mentioned. Um, And just kind of trying to learn the system on a, on a throwaway game, really. Throwaway session, sort of. Because Russell had never DM'd that system before. It was their first time any of them had really played that system. Even the person that suggested they check it out. So as it's sort of a play, learn as you play, learn as you go adventure day. Trying to understand how combat was working and stuff. So between that and our friend's 
shit that he still has to get ready for finals for. He was kind of mentally done in for the day, though. He told Russell, he's like, no, I'm too tired today. So that's why we are doing this right now. So if they don't end up doing anything tomorrow, or if they finish at a time where I feel like I can get some stuff done, then we'll give that a go. I still need to review my show notes for Saturday so I can figure out what I need to get done for there still. I think I still need to take some screenshots. have to take a look over there. I don't really have much in the way of rested on those guys. Because, you know, XP bars just flipped over. It does seem like some challengers are leveling already. A lot faster than I was expecting. I guess I just kind of figured people would be working on their mains and stuff, but if a bunch of stuff was going to unlock for the rest of your account, I think um, when you got there on your mains, and I was seeing messages yesterday on Twitter, not messages, but uh, tweets, I guess, where people had already hit 70. And um, some people were saying, um, someone in our Discord had already hit 70 on their main today a few minutes ago, or like maybe a couple hours ago. And I was like, yeah, I've seen, not surprised I saw people hitting 70. I guess very early this morning. So I'm not surprised, I just don't understand why people rush through the content they waited so long to have happen. Because then they're bored, right? I understand if you've got nothing else better to do. Maybe you're not the type that gets bored, but the ones that rush through it and then, you know, they're like, I've got nothing to do. I'm like, well, why'd you level so fast? <laughs> so, but, I don't know. <coughs> Excuse me, I was never a fast leveler myself. Probably because I can't remember half of what the, I just fucking read. So I, I won't be in the right spot trying to get a quest done or, you know, the distraction demons come in and they're like, hey, look at that over there. And I'm like, ooh. And then I end up like two thirds of the way across the map in a different zone. And then I'm suddenly like, what was I working on? And then, you know, an hour and a half later, I'm like, oh, right. I was doing this. Schlep all the way back to where I was and then... The whole cycle starts all over again. Like, I'll get, like, three quests done. And I'll be like, oh, I need to go do this. Oh, check out this guy here. And then all of a sudden you're off on a wild goose chase. On a quest chain that you hadn't realized was going to end up being a quest chain. And then it turned into, like, a whole rabbit hole kind of thing. And you're like, what the hell just happened? But I've been spending... I, the only thing I've really done in game was I like did the opening quests to test to try to replicate something happening for somebody else. Although it didn't quite matter because there was another workaround that still applied. So after that, I started fishing by the fishing trainer and waking shore. And then I was like, oh, I got one of the coins. I was like, I could not find this character. Or it was NPC that I'm supposed to turn it into during beta. Could not find it. Um, but they added the quest now that goes with this item. So I was like, oh, let me go find this guy. And there's a pool of water up there by him. So I'm just kind of sitting there fishing there. I haven't really branched out and left him because he was kind of a pain in the ass to get to. I'm going to be quite honest. 
Though I will say, the drop rate on the fishing was a lot better in beta <laughs> than it is now. Like, I was getting coins like hand over fist in, in beta, and now I, I'm like only have gotten copper, and I'm like at a total of nine, and I've been fishing for maybe a grand total of four or five hours, and I'm like, hmm. This doesn't seem quite as plentiful now. I don't know what kind of rewards you get for turning these coins in, because you need a, more than one. I think I saw you needed like 15 to buy a thing. I at least want to see what this thing is. Before I, uh, move from this location but yeah I do need to try to get some better screenshots worked out I think the ones I originally grabbed were kind of dark Let's see, I know the one side's a little bit higher than the other, but that's also because it wasn't smushed down. Okay, so that's not bad. And that's definitely cleaned up our edges along in here, so I'm I'm pretty pretty okay with that. Let's flip you over. Alright, we have to flip over our stencily guy because we found that to be working pretty well for us here. Alright. So now, I'm going to add a bit more, not a whole lot more, but a bit, to the other side of our friend here. I'm just going to kind of stab through the green part of this just a little bit more. The other side feels a bit more polished, although I mean I guess we can have a front side and a back side. I mean that should be okay. Necessarily wrong with that. So I'm curious to see. side of this. Let's see if we um, are having any issues with our green poking through in places where I don't necessarily want it to be. I guess we'll find out here in a minute. I think I want to get this a little bit more anchored down into place here.
Did, um, oh, oh, you know what I could do? Did, um, did your mother object to the scent of that dragon blood, uh, incense? Uh, I'm not sure why. Because I was thinking of breaking off a tiny piece and needle felting it. Uh, I'm pretty sure a tiny piece won't hurt any. Because she loves her smelly shit. And I could needle felt around it. Yeah, I don't think she would object to a small piece. I, th I think when it burns, it got a little strong for her, she says. <laughs> Which is fucking yeah, hilarious. Yeah, I'm not entirely sure that's accurate. Or was it the balsam fur that she said got too strong? Because sometimes that, that did get a little strong. But for all of her obsessively smelly shit, for her to be like, that was a little strong. Okay, like what? Hey, okay, what woman? smelling something. And I don't know if it's this cardboard or if I'm still smelling your soup. I'm not sure what I'm smelling. I think I'm smelling a combination of smells because I made something that smelled a little bit strong for dinner. And you made the soup which smells a little bit strong and I think they're mingling. on our needle now since we've got this a bit thicker I'm still not slamming it completely all the way through because I like I said I don't want to fully attach it to this piece of felt I'm just kind of using the felt as a pad barrier shall we say to keep from picking up any of the fuzz in the pad and just to make it a little bit easier to detach. But so far we're we're, we're doing okay. Who is that? It's cow. Oh, Rather ragged mouse, Jesus Christ, cow. I didn't know there was any in here. Uh, it's an old blue one. I oh, wow, where'd nowhere. they find that? Yeah, I've got no idea. I think there's a stash of toys um, behind, uh, under the table that the microwave is sitting on. We've got like a cart sitting in front of it. And I'm thinking that they knocked some stuff under there. There's these tiny little mice. They're like a little bit, like, they're barely the length of my pinky. And, um, they're kind of fuzzy and they have like a little rattly noise inside of them. These guys go crazy for them. Especially little. Just kind of see, this is still a little tall, so we haven't felted this section down quite enough yet. We're getting there though. Just want to take a 
peak. Alright. It's not bad. Definitely needs a haircut though. I'm gonna leave the template off for just a minute. We're getting closer to... well I don't know, we might use it to the very end just to help us keep our shape. So I mean it's it's a little big for a Christmas ornament but I mean you know palm size but it's not bad especially since I doubt she's gonna be hanging it on a tree if anything they might hang it up somewhere in uh, the Winnebago <laughs> maybe So this was really going to be for the front side, so just going to kind of come back through here, see if we can get any of our fiber friends redistributed. doing that because we'll we'll end up uh, taking that in a little too far all right well that's not too bad there right, let me see about hair cutting you again so this time I am kind of like right on the surface just because I don't want this personally I don't want it quite that fuzzy so I'm not the biggest fan of these scissors snip shear thingies but I mean, they do sort of come in handy. You can definitely see situations where they have a better use than others. So just giving you a little bit of a trimmy trim to suit my purposes. Clean you up just a little bit. Is Loretta allergic to anything smelly or no? Not that I am aware of. Okay. Again, I, I doubt it'll have a major effect. Okay. I 
still have to add the other layer of fuzz to this other side here. But, come on. That's not too bad. I mean, you can kind of let go. You can kind of see where we've cleaned him up a little bit. Where he's not quite so so fuzzy. So this side's been a little bit trimmed down. This side's still pretty fuzzy. See it a little bit more. He's a little less distorted. All right. So what side was it that we still had to? Do I think it's this side. Alrighty, so I think that's the right side for our template. Try to grab all this fuzz before it wanders away. Hey Taco! Uh pretty good, pretty good. We've got the, the one done for my mom, so rooster's done. Rooster's all finished finished, butt feathers and all. He was a little top heavy, so I had to add a second hanger guy in the back of the head, because without that, he just kind of went forward. But. He's all right. He's chilling. You okay? Mm-hmm. Okay. And right now we're working on the mother-in-law's ornament because we don't know. Um, she's not supposed to be here for Christmas, apparently. Um, I don't know when they're leaving again, so she's gonna be getting this before Christmas if I get it done before they leave again, because I still have to do her sister's thing too if I'm going to the trouble of making her something. I kind of have to do something for the sister. kind of situation. And I'm like, how do I keep getting more projects added on top of everything? I already have so much to do. I'm still working on the husband stuff. Husband has two gifts in progress. And I still have to do my dad's. Yeah, like it's probably not going to be dead on to the photo, but we're going to try. And the black lines I actually might paint in because that's going to be really tough to, to needle felt those guys in. And I think I can paint those in pretty good. I have some fabric paint. I'm pretty sure I have black fabric paint. If I can lay my hands on it, um, I can probably add a drop or two of water to it and then paint those, paint those in. So um, I didn't have a cookie cutter <laughs> that was in the shape of a butterfly. So. Um, we made a template. We made our own stencil just out of uh, one of the cardboard boxes that the copious amounts of stuff that get delivered during the holidays come in. I kind of snagged it out of the recycling. I was like, oh, that'll work. I w really had wanted a flamingo cookie cutter. Um, when we had to order the stuff to replace the Christmas tree because of the cat. Um, our lights came today. Those are up. I need sunglasses to walk through the room with this. 
<laughs> the Christmas tree now. Those damn little fairy lights. There's 200 of them on that string. They are bright. They are bright. So we ended up with a white fake Christmas tree um, that was cheaper than the real ones they were selling at Walmart here. So that was kind of concerning. Because, I mean, this one we don't throw away. So I'm like, hmm. Be the better deal this year, and uh, we got these pink magenta fairy lights to stick on there, and we got a whole bunch of pink and silver sheeted um, like Christmas balls that were glittery, and because uh, this is my flamingo tree. So they found a bunch of these tiny little flamingo guys on sale that were all glittery to hang on the tree. And I was originally planning on making some flamingo ornaments to put on this tree. And I was like, oh, we can live stream that. And um, yeah, just things started taking so much time. I don't know if I'm going to be able to make those for this Christmas. Just because I am so swamped. Ah! I am bound and determined to break this son of a bitch. Like he's already bent, right? So. Oh goodness. All right. There we go. I mean, it'll still go into the cardboard. The cardboard's not that strong. This is still the same needle I bent on Russell's presents the thing that has the uh, wire inside of it. I'm just gonna keep going with this needle till it snaps. Uh, I'm sorry, we're just... We're just gonna keep going with it. You're excited to see how the butterfly turns out. It's just neat to see how your crafts take shape. Be right back, taking the trash out. No problem. I mean, sometimes the brain children come out all right. Sometimes. Sometimes they come out better than others. I'm not gonna lie. Like the rooster for my mom turned out a little bit different than I was expecting him to, but he's still kind of cute in his own little way. I'm surprised at how top heavy he was. His neck did, his neck and head did take on a funny shape as we were working on him. That had not actually been part of the plan, but just kind of how that worked out. Alright, so just want to make sure that we've got this other layer of blue. Do is this corner? I feel like our corner is a little lacking in fluff compared to the rest of this guy. I mean, he's going to be getting another color on his wing edges here. But... Mm. That being said, I'd still like him to be a little bit more level with the rest of his self here. Alright, so let's this is gonna be, I think, the back side? Yeah. I'm still probably gonna try to like I'm still gonna do the details on both sides but this might be the wonkier side of the two. So I think I'm going to have to 
pull that green out again, right? So if we end up um, making this scented, question is, do I want that on the front or do I want that on the back? I think we'll attach it to the front side. Alright, let me pull this off for a second. finger out of the way. So I'm just going to go back through the front side real quick here. And just kind of clean this up a little bit. I'm not going to fuss too hard. All right. So, where'd it go? There it is. Careful, careful. Alright, for the time being, I'm gonna close the boil. Alright, I've got bags of fluff everywhere. All sorts of fluffyville in here. Okay, now, sit you over there. Alright, let's come in and start hair cutting this side. Just making him a little less fuzzy. You don't have to do this. And if you're using roving, it might not be that fuzzy. I guess depending on the type of roving that you're using. And how soft it ends up being. And the yard's a little fuzzy. Not terrible. So this is all the acrylic yarn that um that's the only thing that we've used so far on this project is the acrylic. Sometimes we use the roving didn't quite have roving that was the right color that I was looking for. So I'm just kind of shaving him down a bit here. Just trying to reduce the amount of extra fuzziness that's kind of wild and all over the place. Probably be wiser to do this over a piece of paper or something that I can just walk over to the trash can. I mean, technically, I could just pick up this placement. That's all it is. These placemats from Dollar Tree do come in handy sometimes. Because the surface of my desk is trashed. And I'm kind of mad, too, because this was not a cheap desk. But whatever the surface finish was on it was apparently no match for painter's tape. Like, the blue painter's tape that's not supposed to stick to anything. 
It's supposed to come off clean. Um, apparently the finish of this desk was no match for it and it ripped it right off. I was just like, what? <laughs> Painter's tape, really. And then the front edge of the finish stripping started ungluing and I'm just like, what is happening? So I've now got like packing tape and duct tape and all of the tape is trying to cover the edges of this front side. <laughs> That's not bad. That's uh, trimming up pretty nice there. Welcome back. We're just kind of getting the extra fuzzes in check here. So how goes your WoW leveling? You enjoying Dragonflight? Have you hopped on a challenger yet? I don't know if I would though. <laughs> World servers went down earlier when I was in the middle of changing characters. I don't know if that was just because I was changing characters and then I couldn't get back in or if uh, if it kicked anybody. I don't know. Alright, so this is going to be our front side. Pretty good, doing every quest, both storyline and regular ones, it hasn't gone down for you at all. Okay, like, um, earlier when I was swapping characters, because the only thing I've, I've done, the two quests to pick up the boat to get into Dragon Isles that you don't have to do on a challenger. Um, but we were trying to test something. So I took those and stopped questing once I got off the boat. And uh, then I ran a couple more challengers over um, just so that we could test and see what was going to happen. And uh, things seemed to be okay. Like the boat wasn't phasing funny. But I didn't do that many quests into Dragonflight because we were trying. We had a question for Bloodthirsties as to whether or not they were um, they were going to be able to do those first couple of quests because of the boat phasing issues, and I'm like, um, I don't know. Talk to Lita, but if the boat phases funny for you. And your alliance go over to go over to Overmar and go to the Zeppelin station down by the water outside of Ogremar. There's like a little dock outside of the city and hop on the horde transport. There's no guards that are gonna bother you on there. And it doesn't PvP flag you. Provided that you don't go in the city. Just, you know, approach it with caution. I would approach it from the air. But that seems to be working. Hmm. We sort of have changed shape a little bit here. So this is blood orange. This is the paint box. Simply chunky. And I think it might be an acrylic blend. Where it's mostly acrylic. I don't think it's 100% acrylic though. Big twist might big twist value might be um a hundred percent acrylic maybe maybe I might be wrong about that too but there's acrylic in there I can tell you that much so 
So you're only to the second zone and almost, almost 90, almost 90% through, or you mean almost 70. I know a lot of people seem to hit 70 on their normals. 70, okay. It's like 90. Like, did I miss something? <laughs> You're fine. But I haven't really done much of anything. Wah. Stop it. In game. You know, I don't even really need this on here right now. I've decided that it's going to be less trouble to haircut this on the opposite side than it is going to be to try to shove it back through. I just wanted to check there because I wasn't sure if we were actually going through the edge of this or I was um, on the edge of it. Like I wasn't sure if I was on the blue or if it was just doing whatever the hell it wanted to. So this is where I'm a little nervous where we might lose our current shape without the template being involved. But I guess if it's a little thicker or thinner in spots, that's just how it's going to be. I suppose. But the main thing that I've been doing was fishing. That was about it. Oh, that's what I started to say earlier. So I fished up two, um, like, messages in a bottle type things. The one was a green quality recipe for inscription. Not soul bound. So I was like, okay, well, I mean, I could try to sell it. So, interesting. And then a little while later, I fished up another one. And I opened it, and it was a blue quality recipe for inscription. But it's soul bound. And I'm like, Durr. I don't have inscription. So... I almost feel like it might have been better if it hit account bound because then I could have sent it to an alt that had inscription perhaps but this soul bound and I'm just kind of sitting there looking at it I'm like what the fuck am I gonna do with this I don't have inscription I guess I'm gonna have to vendor it it does vendor for 50 gold but it seems kind of pointless And I'm certainly not dropping mining and flower picking on that character for inscription. This was my 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 normal hunter who has sort of become my main, but they're really my gathering alt because I didn't really play my main in uh, Shadowlands. Technically, my main never hit sixty. 
in Shadowlands because by the time I finally got done working on Bloodthirsty Challengers, it was kind of toast. But I've made a couple thousand gold off fishing in the last 24 hours. Not a shit ton. And I'm nowhere near, nowhere near getting another token. Or getting a token. But, uh. Just trying to see if I can make anything. I've got like a month of game time left. So once that's gone, if I don't make a token, then we'll just be without WoW for a little while. And it'll be a, as we have the cash that we can spare to throw at it kind of thing. Do I need to stop yet? No, you're good. Okay, I didn't know how you were feeling. Alright, so come here and tell me what you think so far since... You know your mom better than I do. Sweetie, sweetie, she's like your mom. Literally anything you do that by hand gives it value. Yeah, it looks good so far. I mean, is that, that bulky enough for you? Yeah. I, I It was just a suggestion. Alright, and I'm going to try to dome this up and stick... No, again, you do what you have to do. A bit in there. But that'll probably be towards the end of the project. So, we'll see what happens with what. The cats have a thing of being under that tree. Yeah, I don't know. Cow is sitting there staring up into it up from underneath. Yeah, my mind was doing that earlier, except like she was like smelling the branches and rubbing her face on it. He was just sitting there staring. Right, count, count. Maybe it's the glitter sparkling on those lights. Maybe. I think there's more glitter everywhere than what stayed on those ornaments. I might have to re-glitter them next year. Oh well. Wow. Like, we need to dump that bucket that we'd put those ornaments in temporarily yeah. outside or in the trash, because be when I looked in the bottom of the bucket, I was like, oh. Right, next time we'll use tacky glue instead of the... That better not have come off the tree. Littles. Cause they, bits, get them little feet off there. They had a couple of their own around She's the... doing the same thing that my mom was doing. She's like poking around at the bottom branches. <sighs> Cats, you have your own Christmas balls to play with. That, you know, <laughs> don't have a string attached to them. Little bits, huh? She being bad. Little bits, huh? Come here so I can distract you. Come here. I will not be distracted, human. I am on a mission. Coming? To rip every single Christmas ornament off the bottom of this tree. Why do you guys insist on going that way? Because it's Peabody. Uh. And Peabody likes an obstacle course, apparently. He thinks he's a ninja. And likes to parkour Beautiful. off of stuff. Hi, let me distract you briefly. Never. There will be no cat distraction here. Alright, so I'm just cleaning up the fuzzes on the back side here. So we're not going to finish this tonight. That's not happening. We might be doing another bonus stream 
tomorrow night. Probably late again. Um, it won't be normal stream time because I don't know what the husband and our friend are going to be up to, if anything. I know he's busy finishing up finally things. For a class and whatnot. I'm just trying to clean up. Oh my god, that cat. She's not... I don't think she's in the tree. But I can hear her fucking with the, <laughs> the ornaments that are on the lower branches. I can hear the, the rustling of them getting knocked around. It'll be a long night with her in the tree. Because this is the first time we've had the ornaments up on the new one. Because we were waiting until the lights came. At least the stuff that's on the bottom, most of it's not breakable. Um, there's a couple of wooden snowflakes towards the bottom. And they're not technically breakable, but I just... I was running out of room to put them higher up because they were a little bit big and uh, I don't really want the cats getting into all that glitter but I guess if they do they do so it's coming along it's not bad it's not gonna look exactly the same but it's definitely our interpretation we're just using the 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 photo as kind of a color reference Kind of, sort of. Peabody demands cat TV, apparently. Yep. And there it is. Or he's just being a spaz, because that noise is him scratching one of Russell's monitors. We had to, like, zip tie that monitor to a wooden frame that we had to make. And then we had to L bracket that wooden frame into Russell's desk because we had made the mistake of putting on a YouTube video that, um, or YouTube live cam at a uh, bird feeding station. And at night there were some like bunnies and raccoons and stuff visiting. And we forgot it was still on and we went for our walk. We weren't gone more than. 20 minutes at the most and when we came back I could hardly open our front door that comes into our bedroom off of the front porch and I'm like what the fuck like what is wrong with the door I can't get the door open what what the hell happened it was fine when we left I finally managed to squeeze into the door and realized the reason why the door wouldn't open is because one of the cats knocked that monitor off of Russell's desk and it was now wedged between his desk and the door and I'm like are you fucking kidding me we're lucky he didn't break it but then that's when we're like okay we have to secure this monitor to the desk now and now even when when uh the wildlife stuff isn't running on that monitor he'll still jump up on Russell's desk and just stand there in front of the monitor and scratch at it. And I'm like, what are you doing? There's nothing there. We don't know if he's asking for it. We don't know if he's bored. We don't know if he's crazy. I mean, I'm leaning towards crazy. But, um, he also likes to meow at the walls sometimes. Which, let me tell you, when you're the only one awake kind of unnerving. Okay, so that kind of smushed outward a little bit on that, but it's not necessarily
terrible thing there. All right, let me try to get some of these loose pieces in here. And then I might try to trim that section up in there. Yeah, those details are going to be so small for like the black lines and stuff. I think what we're going to need to do is um, definitely revisit that with paint. Because I feel like they're going to get out of control real fast if we try to felt those. And I'm pretty sure I have a paint that's not going to bleed on the fuzz. That's also another reason why I'm trying to clean up the extra fuzz. So that way we can come back in here with that. Get this as tight as we can here. And, uh, see, I'm afraid to do it on the back side, though, because then we're going to have, like, the blue poking through, I think. Hmm. Yeah, we can try it. Like, we had the, the green. I mean, this is the back side of the butterfly. Maybe we should try it with a smaller piece. <laughs> Don't we all? <laughs> oh goodness. Let's see. Where's, all right, let's see here, we can get this in, yeah, I was trying to check on the tokens before we got started, because Stir was saying that they were down to 190, and I was like, what? Are you sure? Because, like, they were 233 last night when I went to bed. So I was like, oh man, I was like, I'm never going to get that kind of cash. Like, the only thing I'll be able to do is sit here and uh, do nothing but fish. not bad. I mean, we didn't make it that thick. That might be alright as long as we keep it a little bit thin. I mean, it was a little thin, but... They are 190 right now. Okay, so that did come down. 190 seems a bit more 
possible to me. My one character is at 114,000. And I was just going to use them to schlep back and forth the auction house, but I have a bank alt that's sitting right there in Stormwind, so I just I remembered that I had the the mailbox toy, the the chick that you get from sorting the mail in Darlaran. So she's got a three hour cooldown. So I plopped her out and I just sent the stuff over to my bank alt who ironically doesn't really have any money on her. I think she had like two grand on her. No, she had five grand on her, that's right. Because when I opened her, her bag to get the stuff out of the mail, I was like, oh shit, what is all this stuff in her, in her bag? And then I was like, oh right, I was like selling all of the things out of my personal guild bank that I had amassed. A ton of gear and stuff, and I guess that was stuff that hadn't sold pets and things. Um... I don't know why people tell you. <laughs> As if you ask me anything, I see her. Okay. Yeah, I'm gonna turn the longer ads off, I think. Like, we get more money from the ads if we do, if we do the ad break, um, for a certain amount of time. Yeah, but hon, are you really making enough to make make it worth your while? I don't know yet. I haven't been doing it long enough yet, so... I'm pretty sure the answer is going to be no. I doubt they're going to pay you a dollar an ad or something. But, um... It's a... It's a thing. Apparently people... Um, I heard 9.5 talking about it. Apparently if you sign up for... What the fuck was it? Twitch Turbo? You have to pay for Twitch Turbo, though. Um, then you don't have to deal with ads on the platform anywhere. Apparently. Yeah, we'll see how long that lasts. But it's like nine ninety nine a month. Yeah, it's pretty fucking terrible. Which is horrific. Money from the ads are are paying at tax time. Are they really? I don't make enough to to, to even claim taxes on this shit. So. <laughs> But I mean, I guess because you've got your other job, so you have to fill it in. Like, I make, like, nothing. I have been under filing limits for, like, the past three years. Like, I might make, because I'm not a... I don't have a large community. I just kind of have people that pop in and uh, just kind of hang out for a while. And that's totally fine. I, you know, it is what it is. Um, I know money is tight for people. I'm not bitching. I'm just being honest. I, I for people that want to do this full time, start out part time and see how it goes. Um, because, you know, it's. It's a, uh, unless you've got something that truly sets you apart, it's a very fickle thing, right? So I think the most I've made in a year, yeah, 1099 if, if you only make over 600, but even if you make $1 from the ads, you get a form on it that you have to fill out. Yeah, I I've I make two hundred dollars. <laughs> I made two hundred dollars for like the past two years on Twitch <laughs> for the year. That that's it. So I'm like way, way under the filing. So uh, I wouldn't quit your day job to stream right away you're not necessarily 
guaranteed to be rolling in the cash. Like even counting the Etsy sales shops or Etsy Etsy shop sales when I did have Etsy, um, I've moved. Well, I'm in the still in the process of moving everything over to Kofi. I haven't posted everything yet. I figure I'll work on that when I'm done dealing with Christmas gifts and stuff and I have time to breathe and think and everything. Um, like, I didn't even make a hundred bucks from Etsy, so. Like, a lot of my money was going back towards fees and stuff and relisting fees and shop sale fees and. For a small shop, it was, it was probably losing money. Uh, no, you were about breaking even. Was I? Yeah. If you account for everything you made that didn't sell, yes, you lost money. Yeah. Uh, if you count only things that you sold, you did make money. It was just like dollars a year. Yeah, it, it was... Not that profitable for me. But then again, I'm also not solely focused on this because I've got other shit that I'm taking care of. And then I kind of hit creator burnout. Because <laughs> believe it or not, the stuff for a while challenges takes a lot of my time. Like, a lot of my mental capacity <laughs> and brain power is, is on that. Because there's actually a lot going on over there for me. Because we've got holiday articles that I need to be on top of when the holidays are shifting. I need to know when different calendar events are coming around, um, celebration blog posts. Um, I handle stuff for the podcast even on the weeks that I'm not on the show. I am on the show this week again. I'm not sure what we're talking about this week. We might just be talking about how how um, Dragonflight's going and what we've encountered. I need to get some screenshots tonight or tomorrow. Probably be tomorrow at some point. Um, but yeah, I do like about an, mm, a half hour to an hour's worth of show prep for Alita, even on the weeks that I'm not on. And then after the show, uh, it takes me, because I'm slow and distracted and eating dinner and all of the things, I have like about another hour to two hours worth of stuff sometimes three depending on what I'm doing depends on how much stuff has to get um, scheduled if it's a uh, if I've been given the new spreadshirt promos and stuff god damn Ed you just scared the shit out of me I thought somebody was knocking on our front door He's sitting on the windowsill, in the window behind me, scratching, and his foot was tapping on the window, and it was so loud. In the silence of this room. Jesus Christ, dude. Um, and then, you know, just like other day-to-day -day stuff. Like, we have a whole- <laughs> we have a whole system for how things are done over there.
So guys, don't forget. Oh, I need to do shit. I need to do one of those posts. I probably should have did that today. Uh, I had, I had been hypothetically talking dates that I could probably do. Um promo stuff on for her but I didn't schedule it when I was talking about it and then I kind of forgot I'm like the worst community manager ever um, <laughs> and uh, I see I don't have energy to handle my own shit I need somebody to handle my shit um, but uh I think I was supposed to do one this week for the Death List show. Um, Death List show was going to be Saturday, December 10th, 7 p.m. Eastern on the Wild WoW Challenges Twitch page. It is a yearly tradition. Where you are asked to send in a list of your challengers that did not make it over the course of the past 2022, well this year, 2022 calendar year. And we kind of make light of it a little bit to see who had the worst year and you know they they win the deathless show there's no prizes or anything but it'd be a hell of a thing to get prizes for but you know just kind of sort of bragging rights for those that we know about i guess <laughs> to commiserate the lost challengers just a little something fun that we try to do to lighten that last show of the year um, because then the podcast is going on winter break for a couple of weeks. So December 10th is going to be the last podcast of 2022. And then the podcast will be back come January. I think January 7th is supposed to be the first show back. for 2023, if my dates are correct. All right, I'm more concerned with about how this side looks than this side. This side can be whatever it's gonna be. Um, Cause I think we're only gonna have time to do the details on the front piece, to be perfectly honest. So um, if you're gonna do those death lists, send them in no later than December 3rd. Not December 8th, excuse me, not December 3rd. Where am I getting December 3rd from? December 3rd is like t two days from now. Uh, December 8th is when they need to be in by. Excuse me, I misspoke. So. That way, we can ensure that they get on the show. Just want to get this side finished up here. I am gonna snip that section off. So um, this is the husband's hermit crab so far. I've shown him a couple times. I haven't had time to do much to the shell yet. That needs to get built up a bit more before I start putting the color layers on it. His little eyeballs are gonna go on here. And then his other work in progress is his dinosaur. Rawr. So this guy's kind of big. He's about 10 and a half, 10 to 11 inches in length, roughly. Oh, look, he's got glitter on him, too. There's glitter everywhere. Um, so I just am in the beginning stages of putting the color on his tail. 
Um, so, yeah, it's going to be a bit of a slower process on him because he's going to get, he still has quite a bit of, of love that he needs to go. Why aren't you, now you're not going to sit? What is happening? You were sitting before. So, that may or may not get done on time. We're going to try like hell, though. Time is vanishing on me so quickly. So I'm not sure if we're doing Coral Island on Thursday yet or not. Um, it really depends. I might need to do Coral Island on Thursday, though. Just to have a break from stabbing the things. Especially if we end up doing an extra stream tomorrow. Don't know if we're gonna. I'm just cleaning up that edge a bit. That was a good thing he was a little wonky because that gave us a little bit of room to play with on the edges there. All right, so I think we're going to pause there for today. So make sure you follow in all of the socially places t um, down below. We've got the Kofi, the YouTube, the um, the Twitter while it's there, and the Instagram. Speaking of, I still need to post the bird to Kofi and uh, to uh, Instagram. I have not gotten around to that yet. And don't see anybody else on my list, so I guess we'll just kind of drift off into the night. You guys have fun playing with WoW. Be careful. Good luck on your challengers. Uh, get those death lists sent in December 8th, please, to podcast at wowchallenges.com. That would be great. And I might see you all tomorrow. If I don't, then I will see you on Thursday for possibly, possibly... Um, Coral Island or Art. We haven't decided yet. So, have a good night, have a good week, and until next time, stay safe out there.